name is Rotaru Catalin and I am Data Analyst at BT Provider and today I will speak about dimension versus measures and continuous versus discrete values. First time I will speak a little about the data fields, roles and types in Tableau. Data fields are made from the column in your data source. Each field is automatically assigned a data type, such as an integer, string, date and the role, discrete dimension or continuous measures. More common or continuous dimension or discrete measure, less common. About dimension, dimensions contain values such as names, dates, or geographical data. You can use dimension to categorize, segment, and reveal the details in your data. Dimension affects the level of the detail in the view. About measures, measures contain numeric, quantitative values that you can measure. Measure can be aggregated. When you drag a measure into the view, Tableau applies an aggregation to the measure by default. Tableau represents data differently in the view, depending on whether the field is discrete, blue, or continuous, represented with green. Continuous and discrete are mathematical terms. Continuous means forming an unbroken whole without interruption. Discrete means individually separate and distinct. Green measures, like for example sum of profit, and dimension like for example year of order date, are continuous. Continuous fields value are treated as an infinite range. Generally, continuous fields add access to the view. Blue measures, like sum of profit, stated now as discrete and dimensions like product name are discrete. District value are treated as infinite. Generally, district fields add headers to the view. Example of continuous and discrete field using the view. For this, I constructed two charts. In this uh, example of the line chart, quantity field is set to continuous. It creates a horizontal axis along the bottom of the view. The green background and the axis help you to see that is a continuous field. In the second example, when we have a bar chart, the quantity field has been set to discrete. It creates horizontal headers instead of an axis. The blue background and the horizontal headers help you to see that is a discrete. In both examples, the sales field is set to continuous. It creates a vertical axis because it is continuous and is being added to the row shelf. It if it was on the column shelf, it would create a horizontal axis. The green background and aggregation functions, in this case sum, have to indicate that it is a measure. The absence of an aggregation function in the quantity field name helps to indicate that it is a dimension. Dimension fields in the view. When you drag a discrete dimension field to row or column, Tableau creates column on row headers. In many cases, fields from the dimension area will initially be discrete. When you add them to a view with a blue background, data dimensions and numeric dimension can be discrete or continuous, and the measure can be discrete or continuous. For those, I will drag category to the row. First, I need to search the category in the search part of the Tableau. After you drag a dimension to row or columns, you can change the field to a measure just by clicking the field and the choosing measure and will measure about count distinct. For this, I will click on the category. I will select the measures and I will select the count about distinct. Data dimension can be discrete or continuous. Dimension containing strings or Boolean values cannot be continuous. Tableau does not aggregate dimensions. How dimension affect the level of the detail in the view? The level of the detail in a view refers to how granular the data is given, the dimension and measure data in the view. As you add dimension to row or columns, the number of marks in the view increases. To understand why adding dimensions increase the number of marks in the view, we'll do the following. We'll select the segment and we'll add it to the column. Now, the status bar at the bottom of the title window shows you that three are now marks in the view. Those marks just contain placeholder text, A, B, C, because you are only building the view structure at this point. We'll drag also the region to increase the granularity, also to the columns. Now, there are 12 marks. Three values in segment multiplied by four values in region. We'll also add the ship date to row.
now we have 56 marks. We could continue adding dimension to row and columns and observe as the number of the total marks continue to increase. Dragging a dimension to a location on the marks card, such as color or size, will also increase the number of marks. Free tool now increase the number of headings in the view. The process of adding dimension to the view to increase the number of marks is now affecting the level of the detail. Adding a dimension to the pages, filters, columns or rows and marks in Tableau affect the level of the detail. The view now contains 56 separate instances of A, B, C. The view is also a structure with no content. For that, to have a content, we need to add sales to the text. Now we have a full table. Measure fields in the view. When you drag a measure to the view, it is aggregated by default. The type of aggregation will vary depending on the type of the view. You should always check the aggregation and check change if it necessary. For that, to show an example, I will add the sale. And we see that the default aggregation is some of them. To change the aggregation, we'll click right, measure, and we'll make about, about average. We'll so also drag the category to have a full chart. A full chart about the average. If you click the fifth and change it to digit, the value become column headers. We'll also change it back to sum and we'll change it to discrete. And we see that the values become column headers. Tableau aggregate value default. Tableau continues to aggregate value for the field because even through the field is now discrete, it's still a measure and Tableau aggregates measures by default, how I said it before. For that, for another example, I will get quantity and category. And I will change it to continue. Filters. When you drop a data field on filters, the result can be a discrete filter or a continuous filter. For the category, when we add filters, we see that we have a discrete filters. We settle the furniture, office supplier, and technology of the filters. And we'll get sales and the category here. And to see the filters, we need to show the filter. And now we have this. When you drop a continuous sales, for example, I want to see the sales on the filters. Tableau first prompts you to choose an aggregation for the filter and then prompts you to specify how the filter is continue range. We we'll select by sum and we have a range in which we want to filter the data. Discrete versus continuous fields. For uh, exemplify the discrete and continuous field, I will first add the category row. When you drop a discrete field on color in the mark cards, Tableau display a categorical palette and assign a color to each value of the field. For this, I will add quantity color and you see that it's set it to discrete and it's generating a palette of colors. When you drop a continuous field on color, Tableau display a quantitative legend with a continuous range of colors. I will set it to continuous. And now we see that it appears a legend with continuous range of colors. <laughs>